Hi, I'm Alan Whiting from Trader Boat Magazine and I'm sitting on the bow of the biggest Hansa that I've sailed yet, the 575. We're neatly anchored here, but behind me it's blowing the oysters off the rocks. So we're looking forward to getting out there for a blast. We've been lucky enough to have 20 to 28 knots today and we were seeing high sevens to mid eights upwind and I didn't expect that, especially with an inmast furling mainsail which is supposed to have no shape and a fairly full cut headsail but it went to windward really well. Reaching absolutely flew. We saw 9.9 nine, and it'd be great with a Jenica up. When I first got on board, I thought, hell, <laughs> this is a massive boat, but it's got bow and stern thrusters so getting out of the dock was dead easy and it still has the Hansa trademark features it's got a self tacking jib and the, the boom is well off the cockpit so there's not much chance of anyone except a basketball player getting hit on the head uh, good fat tow rail nice teak decks and all the hatches are flush Sunbaker's paradise here one of Hans's secrets is the self-tacking jib. People said they didn't perform very well, but we've found correctly set up self-tacking jib is fine and perfect for short-handed racing or cruising. Uh, they go to windward all right, but you can enhance it with an overlapper if you want. All boats have a cockpit table, but this one's big enough to have two. And you just got to love that, haven't you? That's cool. I've been on quite a few Hansa yachts over the years, but this is the biggest one yet. It's a magnificent boat and I know 1.1 million sounds like a lot of money, but it's a near 60 foot boat with up to five cabins. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. 